Hurricane Ian is impacting a lot of different people in many different ways. And tonight we are putting the spotlight on Florida's farm workers, many of them losing their livelihoods in the storm. And tonight they are in dire need of assistance. New 60's Troy Campbell was at a food drive today. And Troy, a lot of farm workers, particularly migrant workers, showed up. Yeah, people today, they were able to pull their vehicle right into this, park, this parking lot in a pop cup, answer a few questions, and then they placed the donations right inside their vehicle so they didn't even have to get outside. Now, the organization says migrant workers who miss work because of the hurricane and flooding have been significantly affected. I feel so good helping the people. Jessica Ramirez says she's inspired by helping others in need following Hurricane Ian. Dozens of vehicles lining up outside the Farm Worker Association of Florida's office in Apopka Wednesday to receive food donations. So when the hurricane come, it's more, more hard for them because they lost food, they lost electricity, and they lost some, uh, some days of the work. The organization says most of the people receiving donations at their drive through food donation event are non-English speaking farm workers. The group says if farm workers can't work due to effects from Hurricane Ian, they miss out on that income, making it more difficult to feed their families. Agricultural communities are, are food insecure anyway, so when something like this happens, then just uh, that need becomes greater. Anyone seeking food donations were given essentials without needing to get out of their car. The people are very nice in here. You, if you need help, come here, the people help you. Marilla Costa says he moved to Central Florida more than 20 years ago from Venezuela. He says he donates supplies when he can, and other times finds himself in need. It's very, very nice because the people in here help a lot of people. It's poor people who don't have food, don't have money. And a part of that survey that they conducted uh, with the people in line was asking them what are their biggest needs. The association says they will continue to host events like this one, as well as other areas all around the state. Live in a pop cut tonight, Troy Campbell getting results, News 6. Troy.